Thanksgiving is a week from Thursday, and many of us are planning a very special meal. But one potential menu item is bringing back some troubling childhood memories for Rick Lukens. Check it out. I can tell you without any reservation that I am the most unpicky eater I know. But don't trust me. Ask my wife. No, Rick is not a picky eater. Not by any stretch. Even if I don't like it, if you put it in front of me, I'll eat it. Except for one thing. Oh, Brussels sprouts. He won't eat Brussels sprouts. <sighs> Most of the time of year for Brussels sprouts. Chef Ian Wingate says he sometimes serves these little devils at his downtown restaurants, and the customers actually like them. I mean, you can grill them, you can, uh, you can roast them, or you can, like I say, you can, you can braise them. I mean, it's just basically a little cabbage. My mother, God rest her soul, cooked Brussels sprouts once a year, every year on Thanksgiving, and we had no choice. We had to eat them. I know Thanksgiving is coming up, and I was actually considering Brussels sprouts for the vegetable. Unfortunately, my mother passed her recipe on to my wife. Let's see, you, you cut the Brussels sprouts in half, and then you saute them in a little butter and Worcestershire. That's where the chef comes in. They have that gassy kind of smell. That's kind of a natural. Even when you just lightly cook them, they, that, that comes out. I was hoping there was something he could do to dress up That's that recipe. recipe. Maybe after a few decades, my palate has been refined, and I'm, I'm going to enjoy these. No, pretty much the way I remember it. <laughs> what else you got? At this point, I'm getting desperate. In honor of his mother, and because I like them, um, so he might just have to put up with Brussels sprouts. Hoping there is something he can do to make a Brussels sprout seem like anything other than a Brussels sprout. Hollow out the center, put some uh, borson cheese in it, wrap it with prosciutto ham, roll it in a uh, flour, egg, and panko, just slightly fried it. Put a little truffle oil and uh, a little borson cheese sauce and fresh basil on it. Only a truly gifted chef could pull this one off. I think you'll enjoy them. I like it. And if I didn't know there was a Brussels sprout in there, I would love it. <laughs> Pretty tough to disguise a, a Brussels sprout. This Thanksgiving, of course, we're thankful for all the food at the table and all the friends and family. But in particular, we're thankful for borson cheese, panko breading, and prosciutto ham. Rick Lukens, KXLY 4HD News. Ian, I'm going to need some more cheese. You like Brussels sprouts? I actually like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I don't mind them, but it's amazing how many different ingredients he had to actually <laughs> add to the Brussels sprouts so that Rick couldn't taste it. Brussels sprouts, only you can only eat them to a certain point before they get nasty.